Labour Party launches 11-man crowdfunding committee. Hey guys, this is still DJM TV Daily News Update. Mr. Julius Abure, the National Chairman of the Labour Congress, has inaugurated a committee on diaspora to drive the ambition of its flag bearer, Mr. Peter Obi, outside the chores of this country. The Labour Party National Chairman Julius Abure, while inaugurating the Level Man Committee to drive the party's diaspora movement, also thanked Nigeria for their efforts so far and prayed them to continue selling the party's candidates and also the party. In a video we're about to watch, Julius Abure, while inaugurating the committee in Abuja, said that the move was to strengthen collaboration among people and governance support for the party ahead of the 2023 general election. He also added that the committee would also recommend to the national chairman the creation of diaspora chapter and monitor their activities. Not leaving the aspect of crowdfunding, the committee is also charged with the responsibility of fundraising for the party amongst other things. The party has enjoyed overwhelmingly support from Nigerians and from Nigerians across the world, Abre said. Let's watch the video. We'll be right back. On behalf of His Excellency, Mr. Peter Obi, I have the honor this afternoon to accept this certificate of endorsement. I want to say on his behalf that um, we are highly elated that our candidate is being endorsed. I know that this is um, one of um, the endorsements in a series because the character, the antecedents, and the pedigree of our presidential candidates, it, Mr. Peter Obi, is not in doubt. It is a consensus today amongst Nigerians that the country is generally not working. Today, the country can be described almost as a failed state. Today, nothing works in the country. Just last week, the figures revealed by the Bureau of Public Enterprises put our inflation rate at 19.5 percent. We are a country of over 200 million people. Over 18 million of our people are living below the poverty line. Today, crime and criminality have taken over our country. We cannot sleep with our two eyes closed, even in the city center of Abuja. It used to be erroneously believed that Abuja was very, very safe. But today, with the recent happenings around us, it has become very, very clear to us that even Abuja itself is unsafe. The Constitution is very clear that the principal purpose of government shall be to provide security and welfare for its citizens. I dare say that this is the very basic minimum which a government can provide. Nigerians are not asking for welfare today, but they are asking for security of their lives. And that basic minimum, we cannot, or the government cannot provide for the people. It is exactly six or seven months running ASU has been on strike. Our children are at home. A country that wants to develop must not pay lip service to education. The educational sector is the future of the country. 
What is gratifying, however, today is that Nigerians have decided to take their destiny in their hands. The mood of the country showed clearly that Nigerians want a change. And that change they want is provided by the Labour Party. Our candidate, Peter Obi, stands out without fear of contradiction among the committee of candidates. I was somewhere last week where I had a meeting with people and I told them that for the 2023 general election, people will look at the character, the antecedents, the pedigree, the competence of those that are clamoring to be voted for in the 2023 general election. One thing that has been lacking in government, or that has been lacking with people in government, is that these days we have no role models. And it is one of the reasons the country is in shambles. Because there is practically nobody to look up to. Our candidate, Peter Obi, is a man of character like you know, and may become a role model if he's voted for next year. His behavior, his antecedents have shown that very, very clearly. His capacity is also not in doubt. When he was governor in Anambra State, his performance till today is unparalleled. And the records are there, you can verify. I appeal to you that you should assist us by continuing to talk about the party, propagate the philosophy of the party, propagate the ideology of the party, and the good work of our candidates that have motivated you to give him these awards. The party has enjoyed overwhelming support from Nigerians across the world. and even non-Nigerians alike in a situation where there is clamor for the party to establish chapters across the world. There has also been the clamor of people who want to contribute to the growth and development of the party. Arising from these calls, and the necessity to have these activities coordinated, the party therefore have decided to put up a committee of 11 distinguished Nigerians to drive this process. And it is that committee we are inaugurating today. Welcome back, guys. This is still DJMTV Daily News update. So here we have it. We've had from the national chairman of the Labour Party um, that has produced the candidacy of Mr. Peter Obi, whom Nigerians are chanting his name. They have just inaugurated an 11-man committee that will be in charge with um, the fundraising for the party across Nigeria and in the diaspora. He has also thanked Nigeria for the overwhelming support they've given to the party and to the candidate, Mr. Peter Obi. So guys, here we have it. A lot of Nigerians have been waiting um, for this opportunity to support uh, the Peter Obi movement with um, their little contribution. And now the party has come up with the level man committee who will raise up um, the account or the details in which um, the fundraising would go into. And also so um, according to the chairman, this committee will report back to the party and brief the party on their movement so far. They will be in charge of coordination for um, the chapters in the diaspora and also in Nigeria. So guys, what are your thoughts and comments concerning this 11-man committee?
share them with us in the comment section below. DJ TV. DJ TV.